A lot going on with She-Hulk right now, especially with the actress who plays Titania. I want to go over what's going on here because we once again have another situation where fans are being blamed for stuff, and I think that that's, that's wrong. We always know the results of that too, by the way, <laughs> because, well, look at what's going on with that Bros movie. That was fun. If you missed that video, go back and watch the one I put out earlier today because that situation is hilarious. But uh, the actress who plays this character, she went on a big rant. She started off with this, where she's like waiting for the final episode of She-Hulk. And she has herself in a dress eating McDonald's fries. This is the video. She's been doing a lot of stuff like this on social media. I really haven't been paying too much attention because for one, I'm not even watching this show because I just don't care about it. It looks like an awful show. It sounds like an awful show. And everybody that I know that has seen it has said it's an awful show. And I'm not the only one that says that uh, or, or thinks this way because obviously the show has got a lot of problems with its viewership, though I don't really understand where this is coming from. I did a video on the Whip Watch report the other day because this website is claiming that She-Hulk is beating Andor, which I find funny, but they also have it beating Rings of Power. So I'm just confused on where these numbers are coming from, especially when you consider that She-Hulk doesn't even make Nielsen's top 10, which is embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. This show is from everything I've seen, a disaster. But she's out there celebrating that the show is number one right here, as you can see. Uh, she's flicking off the camera and jumping all over this, claiming that her show is number one. I have high doubts that this show is number one. Very, very big doubts that this show is number one. Now, I don't doubt that it's doing okay, but number one in the country, don't think so. This is what sparked it. Uh, somebody quote, t quote tweeted her, this guy right here, and said, who's waiting with a laughing emoji? And she says, lol, why are so many men so upset? Are you all okay? Why are you so upset about him laughing at you? Number one, you're like working on a Marvel property, which you gloat about. But like, I mean, why, why, are you, why do you need to attack people if you're doing so well? I'm toxic. You randomly were rude to me online without knowing me. You are toxic. A woman politely responding to your rudeness is toxic. You need our show because it highlights your type of behavior. Some men are exhausting for women to deal with and have no accountability. And that's uh, her saying this. Lol, why are so many men upset? Like, you know, there are women that don't like your show too. But it's always singling out men. In fact, this show has made men the villain. And I'm going to show you that in a second. And that's the, the problem. That's what's pissing so many people off. All that build up 20 minute episodes for nothing to happen. You won't be seeing a season two. She says, dude, who cares? I got to live my dream and be in a Marvel project and go to events where I got to meet all my favorite Marvel stars and talk to them about their movies. And I got paid. My cup is full, but how is your life going? So gloating that she got to hang out with celebrities and be in a Marvel show. Uh, who cares if the show is successful? She got paid. <laughs> and now she's wondering why so many people are responding to her. She just made this whole thing worse. Are we going to pretend like the episode before last just didn't turn your character into a joke even further than it already was? It's a spoof. That's the point. Do you not understand the seven, no, that seven episodes in? And then she retweets this account posting this, which I still don't understand where they're really getting these numbers from, but uh, she decides to go with it and flick everybody off. And that's kind of where we're at. I think she's still kind of commenting, but a huge meltdown on social media today. And I, I just want to point out once again that this show has not made Nielsen's streaming charts a first for Marvel. It's doing just as bad as Miss Marvel, and it really makes me wonder what the future of Disney Plus is going to be because when you put out bad show after bad show, you do start to damage the brand. But don't worry, we've got stuff like this from We Got This Covered, a website I barely ever cover because they're usually full of shit. 
But now they're saying, sorry, haters. She-Hulk is officially certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. This was September 30th, by the way, not that long ago. Uh, what I find funny about this is they completely forget to mention that the fact they completely forget to mention the fact that this show is currently 36% audience score, which is embarrassing. Most people don't like the show. And it just kind of shows you that once again, critics are playing ball and giving this a a nice little 87 just to play nice with Marvel. If you need to know or if you need to hear critics admit that they'll fluff scores uh, to get, you know, access and and a little bit of leeway and other things, listen to this clip. Once again, I'm going to play it for you again. Everybody in our industry occasionally has to play softball, occasionally has to, you know, look the other way a little bit. Everybody has to do it. Wait, wait, we're turning what? Like a movie in, 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 the, in the sense or? that, you know, I hated a movie, but I won't say that I hated the movie or a, an actor behaved a sort of way and you don't want to, you know, get it, put right. it out there that that happened. Right. Because you might not get the next review. Right. Next so gig. to some okay. degree, everybody in our industry that is a part of this quote unquote access media has to sort of decide which battles they want to pick. But I'm sure that. The score is just all natural here. 80, close to 90%, making it uh, one of the greatest television shows ever created. So I'm sure, yeah, they're not playing ball here. I'm sure this is all natural, all good, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So don't worry. I, I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's doing just fine. I'm sure that the views are great because that score is there, but... You know, this show, this show is a disaster. And look how the media runs with this. Uh, don't From Don't Worry Darling to She-Hulk, 2022's biggest villain has proven to be online. Art often reflects life. From She-Hulk to the Batman, 2022's real concerns about social media dangers are fueling pop culture's fictional villains. Yeah, the Batman did kind of do that. It's done it better than most. To be fair, that's the only one of these that wasn't a flop, by the way. Don't worry, darling. Box office bomb. She-Hulk. Ratings disaster. So these articles, they run to do damage control to remind you that you're a piece of shit. And if you don't think that you're garbage, uh, then you're obviously some kind of a problem. It's just funny to see it. But this is true. She-Hulk is making regular people into the villain. They have this Intelligentsia computer website, which is, or not computer website, just a regular website. It's like a dark web thing. Uh, don't forget that in the comics, this was a supercomputer, I believe, or organic computer by the scrolls. Obviously, this is going to tie in to future Marvel products. And I guarantee you, one of the, uh, one of the future villains of Marvel, like especially Captain America, New World Order, that movie is going to, I guarantee you, have uh, some kind of Republican guy as the villain. They're already setting it up like that. I've talked about that in a previous video. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Just a lot of crazy shit going on with Marvel. I, this show is a disaster. You've got the stars of it melting down now, and it's going to get even more hilarious as time goes on. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter over here i do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me also it's a good place to catch all of my content you don't have to worry about notifications like youtube they'll definitely work over here so come check out my locals